Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary, this is Rosemary Zhu Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I have a collective haul for you. I have items from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, the thrift store, Stampin' Up, Little Birdie, and an item from Kohl's. So I'll get started with the Dollar Tree items. We were totally out of the Weiler's uh, little packets. They're sugar-free. Uh, so I got two of the lemonade, two of the pink lemonade, and two of the strawberry lemonade. Uh, also picked up uh, some canvas, uh, artist canvases. These are the 8 by 8 So when I'm uh, creating a brand new journal, meaning I'm not using a little golden book, these are perfect. They're perfect. Uh, matte board can be kind of pricey at Hobby Lobby, so for $1.25 for a front and back cover, perfect. So I got four of those. Also picked up four 8 by 10 artist canvases great for uh, covers so you know if I want to make them smaller you just cut them up so not a big big deal so I was happy to get those uh, speaking of journals I also picked up some baby hair ties so I have discovered in the last little while that the adult baby or the adult baby the adult bands hair bands are too um, too big to wrap around a journal uh, so the baby bands are perfect so I got two of these gray with the flower and two gray with the bow so these are perfect and the neutral colors will work out great all right uh, I picked up some note cards to stick in journals I love filling journals with more spaces to write in so let me show you the note cards I picked up. Now, interesting, when I got these, I think, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think these are still a dollar at Dollar Tree because I think uh, Hallmark still stocks their cards, and I think they're still a dollar. Um, at least when I picked them up a week ago, they were still a dollar a piece. So uh, I've already broke into these ones because I was finishing up uh, a journal, a mermaid journal, which I will be doing a flip through pretty soon on. Um, but I picked up these note cards. You get eight of them in here. And there's nothing written inside, which I love. Also picked up these leaves and it has a little bit of foil. Some of them have a six count. Some of them have an eight count. These ones are a beautiful tropical floral gorgeous gorgeous flowers love those ones and these are so cute love those so just set those aside so when I'm making journals and I'm finishing them up and I want to stick some more uh, writing spots that's what I fill the pockets with all right I think I think that's all I got from Dollar Tree not too much um, from the thrift store uh, Jack and I went on senior discount day last Tuesday and I found these boxes of uh, this box of Christmas cards they are all in here and the Christmas card itself is this really thick thick it almost feels like I don't know what it is it's a really thick thick cardstock here's the inside here's the back and then the envelopes are really really pretty let me see if I can grab an envelope here's one like I said they're all in there they were 99 cents minus 30% off here's the envelope with those snowflakes on them and then here's how the flap is designed. Isn't that cute? So I thought, yeah, I think they're like 70 cents. 
uh, what what a great deal. Then I, if I wanted to, I can add some more uh, snowflake snowflake embellishments in there on there somewhere. Uh, so <laughs> I got that from the thrift store. Also picked up this book. Jack spotted this. I have a hardcover book. Uh, with this same illustrator with these same teddy bears and I'm eventually wanting to do a junk journal uh, with that other book I purchased uh, from the thrift store this one would just be more to add to that of the junk journal I love teddy bears I have a huge collection of teddy bear stamps so of course I want to do a teddy bear junk journal isn't that cute these are so so cute uh, look how cute. Very, very cute. I just love that teddy bear. Oh, look how precious. Oh, isn't that cute? Speaking of teddy bears, I gotta show you these. Jack spotted these in the grab bags. And what they are, it's a little, I think it's a little nativity teddy bear. So here's one teddy bear he's kneeling see he's kneeling he isn't he cute oh my gosh and here is the other little teddy bear isn't that cute and then here is this little teddy bear in the cradle isn't that precious oh my gosh these were a doll uh i think a dollar 67 minus 30 percent oh they might have been 267 minus the 30 percent off not quite sure. Anyway, that's all I got from the thrift store. All right, just because I need the space, I'm going to show you what I picked up at Kohl's. So I love jean jackets. I have a blue one. I have a pale pink one. And now from Kohl's, I have this, uh, it's like a beige, very off-white one. I love wearing this to church because they have the air conditioning on and I get cold. So I got this jean jacket. Uh, don't ask me why I'm putting it on because it's scorching hot outside. I'm crazy. <laughs> but I love, love jean jackets. I love it. Love it. So got that. I paid $25.00 because it was $35 and then I had $10 cold cash. So, got that. I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, where am I moving on to? Stampin' Up. So, Patricia will like to come uh, craft with me. Uh, Patricia is Neil's wife and Neil is in our band and she loves to craft and uh, we have fun die cutting stuff and all of that anyway she had come over and she wanted to show me her stampin up order and uh she loves order ordering things from stampin up i rarely well actually i i don't know if i've ever ordered from stampin up i fell in love with this six by six uh paper uh it's not a paper pad but a paper collection fell in love with it had to get it I didn't think it was a bad price I believe it was $12 it's this little teacup set so I'm gonna show you there's the first one uh, I think you get four of each yes you get four of each I'm gonna show you uh, all of them look how gorgeous gorgeous I love these lemons and by the way they're double-sided so let's see the purple one that was the color there and then the little tea cups or that color aren't those gorgeous okay and these were and I don't know if I have them in the right direction there and then there's the back and again you get four of each print and there's the back of that one. Oh my gosh gorgeous gorgeous let's see that back of that and there's that color so I have a little golden book I think it's called some something 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 tea party and uh, you know if I ever do that little golden book of course I'll add this uh, paper to that to create pockets and and all of that so so cute uh, 
I like that it is double sided. I really, really do. Is this the last one? Uh, no, almost. Okay. And then this is the last, I believe. Oh, it isn't actually. Oh, no, that's part of that one. <laughs> There's that one. And then here's the back of that. And then here is the, let me see if I have this right. Uh, and here's some of the information on that. So that is, that's all I ordered from Stampin' Up. I just couldn't resist. It was such a cute, cute little collection. Uh, so uh, she went ahead and just ordered it along with her order, and then I just reimbursed her. All right, let's move on to Little Birdie. I have ordered from Little Birdie before, and, uh, you know, they have good prices every now and then, probably more now than then. Uh, I was wanting some journaling cards because, again, I love filling the journal with writing opportunities and places to write. So I went on there looking for journaling cards specifically, and lo and behold, they are a dollar fifty each and you get 24 cards per pack so let me show you these uh i actually want to take this one and show you the whole collection uh this one's called uh wild and free look how gorgeous that is you get 24 for a dollar 50 and there's what you get inside this one is the aqua let's see it's called aqua medley and then here's what you get inside. This one is called Purple Passion. And this is what you get inside. This one is called Sunshine and Lemonade. I love that. I love that title. Okay, this one is called, I think it's called Fairy, I'm just going to say Fairy Collection because I can't read it, but I think it's called Fairy Collection or something like that. This one is Woodland, uh, I think Woodland, I'm just going to say Woodland, you guys can read it when I flip it. And then this one, I really wanted to show you all the images on it because this was my favorite. It's called, uh, I think it's called, oh, I can't quite read it. Uh, oh, I can't quite read it. Uh, something Gentleman. I'll take the cellophane off and see. Oh, the Classic Gentleman. Okay. I love this one. Here's all of them, but I'm going to show you these all close up. You get, like I said, two images, two cards per image. I just love these. And they're a very thick, thick card. And then this one. Aren't those cool? I I just really, really, really did fall in love with this particular collection. But yeah, to have these on hand when I am doing junk journals is just absolutely perfect. And, and it's good to have these in your stash so when you are working on a project, you got them right there so you can uh, use and uh, work with. All right, let's go to... I think this is it. Is this it? Hobby Lobby. I have one thing down here from Hobby Lobby. So we were walking down the 75% aisle and I saw this fabric basket. It is cool. It has faux leather, I think, 
between the felt. If you can see that. I want to show you the price. I think it was four. Where's the price? Uh, right there. Less than five dollars, and it's huge. It's huge. I'm gonna keep it down here, so as I'm working through a junk journal, just to not clutter up my craft table, I can put stuff that I'm needing soon right there. All right. The other thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby, uh, again, if I find these at Hobby Lobby, they don't usually stock them. So if they're framing and they have off cuts. They packaged them up. This is, oh, let's see what size this is. This is a five by seven. Yeah, five by seven. <clears throat> and I'm not sure how many little mat boards you get in here, but these are perfect for uh, journals. So here's the price on that. Hopefully I have it the right direction. So anytime I see those, I'm definitely going to pick them up, but they don't normally stock them. This is just uh, like when they're off cuts for their framing. So Instead of throwing it away, they package it up and sell it. Uh, Camille and I were at the discount area, and she spotted these, and she said, Rosemary, these would be great for your journals. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. And I'm trying to see uh, the price on this. I'm going to get my phone and see, because one of them was a crazy price. Uh, open up my magnifier. Uh, these ones were... Four ninety nine, and you get. Let me flip it over and see. Does it say? These are cards and envelopes that you can run through your um, printer and print off wedding invitations. In fact, that's what they're intended for. But of course, I never use anything what it's intended for. I'm trying to see how many do you get. They're a five by five five point five by five. 0.8 inch card. Uh, do not see the count on here. I think there's quite a bit. So let me show you the card. Here is the card that you run through the printer. And then you can print your information there. Aren't those gorgeous? These will be fun to include in journals. So you get, I'm going to say, I don't know how many. I didn't count them that many. Here's the envelopes. Oops, this one kind of bent up in there. Here's the envelope. Has its little embellishment right there. And then look at the back of the envelope, the flap. Isn't that cute? So those will be for journals, to include in journals. And then these ones, Camille also spotted these and I discovered something earlier when I was looking through them. And let me see if this was. These were $249. Let me put my phone back. These were $249. And the box was bursting. And I'm like, why is it so much thicker? Well, because just like the other set, you get your cards that you run through your printer. Okay. And then you also get your envelopes look how cute those are those ones don't have anything on the flap i don't believe oh that's part that's another card that's another card here's the envelope so the envelope doesn't have anything on the flap of course you can always put something on the flap so you get those and that was identical to that other purple set that i just showed you then i'm looking through it and i'm like Oh, there's still more things in here. So here's the rest of those envelopes. So let me get those, put those aside with that because that goes with it. Then there's this set in it. So these, there's two of them here, or I guess you can fold them. I'm not sure. I think you, you cut them apart. So you get a bunch of those. And then here's some little envelopes. So I think this was supposed to be two sets because this package is way too small for all of that. And so I'm like, oh, and then for $2.49? Yeah, see how it's bulging out like that? Yeah, that's crazy. So again, more stuff for journaling. All right, I think 
Is this my last item? I think it is. Let me take a quick, quick peek around. I think it is. I think it is. All right. You're probably saying, hurry up, get on with it. Okay. So I love buying the Paper Studio uh, scrapbook kits. Love it, especially for journaling. I don't have to think about, does that paper match with that paper? Do those stickers go with that or whatever? It's all in this paper kit. So I got the butterflies. These were half price. They're normally $5.99. You get them half of that, so 3 bucks. And this is what you get in there. Love these. Love them. So every time I see them on sale, even though I don't have a specific project, I'm going to pick them up, have them in my stash. I love this one. It's the Sunflower Kit. And I'm not sure if that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, it is. Or something to that effect. And then here's what you get in there. And then I loved this one. Again, I don't have a specific journal that I'll be using for this. But this is the uh, Farmhouse, I think it's called. At least I'll call it that. And then here is what you get in there. So again, in these paper uh, kits, you get the 12 by 12 paper, you get the stickers, you get the ephemera, you get the uh, gems, and uh, sometimes they have the puffy sticker stickers along with just the regular stickers. I love these kits. And for a dollar fifty, no, three dollars, wish they were a dollar fifty. Now I have found some for a dollar fifty when they were clearanced, and uh, certainly I take advantage of that, but uh, $3, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. And you get plenty of paper in here. I've done journals uh, using a uh, scrapbook kit like this, and I don't even use the entire kit. I usually use half the paper for one journal. So, And I'm very, pretty generous with my journals in pockets and, and paper and stuff. So great, great deal. All right. Plenty, plenty, plenty to show you. Um... I am looking at this, and I'm not. I don't remember showing you this. I might have. These are uh, little teddy bears that Jack spotted. The little um, praying little teddy bears, and then this one that is laying in the cradle. If I showed it to you, sorry, but I just looked over and I'm like, oh, those are so cute. Did I show those? <laughs> oh, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. Um, coming up. Next week, I hope to do some flip throughs. I have several journals that I've completed. So, hope you have a great weekend. Till then, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.